Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome to this video about my very first Hypercube table. If you're new to my channel, my name is Joshua. I'm a starting artist in Barcelona and this is a little workspace that I got here. Here are just a few of the pieces that I'm focusing on right now. But this video is going to be more like an introductionary video, uh, an explanation video on how I built this table. I'm not going to show every little detail. I didn't record the entire process, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few of the parts apart. I'm going to film a few of the pieces and explain how that I've built it. The reason is there are a few mistakes in the table and I'm going to make a second one, a much better one, much more detailed one, which is not going to have the same mistakes as the one that this one has. So yeah, if you like what you're seeing, if you're into DIYing about LED, epoxy, all kinds of materials, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe to see more in the future because there is much more coming. And yeah, let's jump into the video. And so yeah, this is just one of 180 effects that the table has because of using an SP107E controller. This is the same control that I use for this clock and also the same type of control that I use for this little cube. This one specifically, it's the one from the DIY video. If you want to make this one for yourself, then make sure to go look at that video. Because yeah, this video is really about the table. And I'm going to put a few of the much more nicer effects at the end of the video. Because right now it's daytime and it's a little bit tricky to film the table with all the light coming in. So yeah, I'll put a few more clips at the end of the video. And I'll start explaining how I've built this one now. So yeah, first things first, some specifications. There are 588 LEDs in this table. These are the exact ones that I've used. I can really recommend these. They're very bright and they respond very good to the effects of the SP107E controller. Now this one isn't made exactly for these LEDs, but it works perfectly. I'll put a screenshot uh, somewhere in the video to see what settings you need to have. And everything's powered by a 350 watt 5 volt power supply, which is way too powerful. But um, I bought this one with another project in mind. And um, yeah, I'll just show you guys a little bit on how it's built. A few of the bolts have been taken out already just for the purpose of this video. But the outer skeleton, the, the, the black with the nice sleek design and the wooden top, that comes from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description of that table. It's a very good base to start from. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys the rest of the table. And so yeah, this is the way it looks just on white right now. Um, the top part is very easy to take off. Again, this came standard from Amazon with the table that I've ordered. The entire black design as well. It's basically the entire inner box, the entire aluminium frame, the LEDs that I've completely hand built. And um, yeah, to take the top off, of course, it's very easy. The, the bolts, the, the heads have been cut off. And I've just glued in the threads that I can just place it on top, that, which makes it very easy to take off. And then the second part, this came with the skeleton from the Amazon table, which is this part. Normally, this is bolted with eight bolts. But yeah, I've already taken out the bolts to make it easy to film this for you guys. I'm just going to put this here to the side. And yeah, now we have our cube itself, which is completely free to work on. And the most easy part of all is you can take the top panel off very, very easy to clean on the inside. Also to be able to put something on the inside. Like for example, I have this dodecahedron. This was a prototype. So yeah, I'm giving away this right now that uh, I'm working on a big one. Yeah, this is how it looks when you put that one on the inside. So you just saw me taking off the top panel and it makes it really easy if you just build it the way I've built it. So it's made that the outer L profile, which is aluminum L profile, I believe 20 by 20. Uh, it's made that you just have like three millimeters or maybe even four millimeters of play so that you can just place the top panel on and it's loose. It's still nice and tight. It sits nice and snug against the railing and it makes it very easy to take off to put a panel on the inside. And for the bottom panel, it's the same principle. The bottom panel is just laying on the black skeleton and again, a few millimeters of play and the whole aluminum cube itself is standing on top of it, which makes that only the four standing panels are actually fixated inside the cube. But I've made a mistake there and I'll show you that in the next clip. 
So and as you can see here, I've used rivets to make the entire box go together. It's a very easy and a quite cheap way and makes it also easy if you've made a mistake to take the whole thing apart again. Yeah, and I can assure you I've probably taken this box apart three times until I got it figured out to make it the way it's made right now. But so the way the panels are fixated is so you have your outer lining and then you have your standing edges and here and there with making just the right amount of play and placing your LED aluminium profiles three millimeters forwards, you can basically just put your panels in between those. The biggest mistake that I've made was also wanting to rivet them here and using little spacers. This made it so that around all these little areas from every panel there's a small distortion. It's a bit difficult to film, but yeah, in real you can really see that and that's the biggest mistake that this table has right now. So when it comes to wiring a table like this, yeah, that is a little bit tricky and if it's going to be the first thing you're going to wire or solder in your life, then yeah, don't get started on that. Maybe you can get started on maybe uh, a first DIY hypercube where I've also made videos from. But um, yeah, as you can see here, there are three positives going in. There are two grounds coming out, one data cable. And so, of course, as you can see, this table is in an unfinished state. I'm not going to finish it completely. Why? Because of the mistakes, also to save on money. And I really want to get started on another one. And uh, just giving you a few pointers, like if you really want to make one, like there is a reason why this has uh, a few gaps. This is to be able to put in cables inside of the aluminium railing, because once you have riveted your outer box, your four panels, yeah, your railings are also going to start getting fixated in place. So uh, a few things of the soldering you have to do inside of the cube. Um, so yeah, it's something you have to really take on step by step. You have to be well prepared. And therefore, I'm really just going to make a second, a long video where you're going to see me make a table like this step by step with a full explanation. And now I'm just going to show you guys a few clips. I'm going to bolt it back together and show you guys a few of the 180 effects and it's also music responsive so yeah make sure to get ready strap on <laughs> 